What's up guys? I am at LS Fest and as always I'm looking for the weird and unusual cars. Cars that really speak to me. This one just absolutely blew my mind. It is so good looking. What's up man? What's happening? How are you? You brought some something pretty interesting here. What yeah. what's your name? I'm Tyler Powell. Tyler Powell. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This car is absolutely amazing. Like I saw you pull in and I knew I had to feature this thing. So tell me, what, what's the story behind this thing? So it started out as a uh, 72, paid like 250 bucks for it, rust bucket. And then I found a 74 for 500 bucks. Going to do, kind of stay true to Nissan, Datsun. I was going to uh, do some 370 parts. I decided to do all Corvette drivetrain because the Fair Lady Z, I want to do a Fair Lady Z06. Oh, and love, so I kind of played. Then, then once I, I kind of decided on the Fair Lady Z06, then it just all took off. You know, how I wanted to do it. I looked a lot at the C7R Corvette racing and how they did the side rocker panels and all that stuff. And I just wanted to tie it in. You know, how would Datsun have done it if they were racing now with that same model, you know, 240Z? Yeah. And what would they have done aero wise? And, Vents and all that cool stuff with GT racing. So, so that's the thing is, I have a 1970 240Z, and a lot of purists already they get mad at me just for swapping a SR20. Yeah. They want me to restore it, whatever. You know, for me, it's my car. I'll do whatever I want with it, and I, I kind of wanted to modernize it. You just took it to a whole nother level, like so amazing, Step so just so cool. Let's check out the motor real quick. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So it's an LS7. I actually got it from a guy down in Louisiana. Had a busted ring lantern or something, so I rebuilt it. Had some Lingenfelter goodies put in it. I had a custom cam spec'd out for it. Um, wanted to bleed off a lot of torque. I knew the car was going to be light, so I had a, a guy to spec the cam. And with the cam specs, basically bleed off a lot of torque, but still keep in you know, some high-end power. So I did see you get a couple runs out there on the autocross course, yeah. which this is what it's built for. It's oh, yeah. built for handling and road course use, right, yeah, versus so just drag racing. I tried to stay true to purpose. I wanted to be able to road course the car. I love autocross. I've been racing autocross for years, and so my suspension set up, you know, I built shocks, and they were almost spot on the first lap out there. I still had to make some few sweeps there, here and there, and uh, get it dialed in. So, you know, two laps, I had a fresh green car. It feels, it feels pretty amazing. Well, this is the first time it's running ever, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the first time it's been racing. You know, I tried to get the uh, suspension alignment and everything close to my 63 Grand Sport to kind of get it in the ballpark. Yeah, I mean, I've been driving it out on the road with, had the windshield taped in and been driving the back roads in Nashville, Tennessee and, and trying to get the engine broken in and, you know, get a tune in it. So I'm using a lot of Holly products in it. So uh, it's been doing some self-learn and just enjoying the car. Right now, I have been two days with no sleep. Oh. So two straight days with no sleep. I'm trying to get this car ready for this event. That's been my plan all year. I had to cut some bells and whistles. I was going to fabricate a custom grill for it and some stuff like that. And my friend was like, okay, you know, the car looks, looks, it looks banging right now. It looks so good. It looks like amazing. Yeah. So what? how much of the left is actually 240Z? So all the drivetrain is basically out of a C6 Z06. You know, obviously I custom did the motor and everything, but it's got the transaxle in the back. So we shortened, I shortened the torque tube on the transaxle 15 inches to fit the 90 inch wheelbase of the, of the Datsun. You know, your roof panel, all your cowl and all that stuff was steel Datsun. And I kept bits and pieces of the headlight buckets. I kept as much as I could with this wild of a build, if you know what I mean. Everything I had, yeah. to, had to so be custom. So. You basically already decided what you want in terms of driveline, then you shaped the body around yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, and, uh, so you did design the body yourself. I started with some Z-Trix parts, a wide body kit. And obviously the C6 Z06, that's a wide car. I'm a half inch wider than that. The Z-Trix wasn't wide enough. So basically I came in and all these custom vents and all the, the rocker moldings and everything, flares and how I came down, that was all just custom. You know, I cut, cut out and just started fiberglassing. So. so tell me a little bit about the interior. So the interior is raw right now. I mean, I did a lot of custom bead roll, a diamond pattern down the transmission tunnel in the back here. I really like that it's kind of a throwback to the original yeah. vinyl pattern. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly why I did the transmission tunnel the way I did. Yeah. So that's under there and I'll probably come over with some fabric and everything because our whole thing in Pro Touring is keeping a car drivable. You know, I'll have mm -hmm. Vintage Air in and I'll have all these. Oh these nice, shout out to Vintage Air. I have Vintage Air in my 240Z also. Yeah. Very cool. I, I love keeping them you know, street friendly that's, and that's another reason for the hydraulic ride height adjustable shocks oh, so wow the cars you can have it slammed uh -huh. and then we can go drive through here and 
raise it up two inches and drive over whatever and then wow. slam it back to the ground. It's so functional. Yeah. In terms of the transmission, it's a stock too, then that's like how you keep everything reliable, huh? GM did a really good job with a lot of their components. So, you know, the, the bearings in the torque tube and the transmission itself, and these are even C6 cradles that I've modified slightly to uh, fit the C6 suspension. We fabricate C5, C6 control arms. So they're all tubular, lightweight control arms with monoballs in them and all this cool stuff. So that's what's on this car. We actually have the prototype arms that we designed our suspension off of are on this car, so. I mean, what are you running in the back? 335s. 335. 335. It'll fit a 355 Kumo. We fit them last night, but we had, a, we had some clearance on the inside right here, and I just wasn't ready. We just had the paint done. I didn't want to start grinding and cutting for, for the vent. So you got 355s potentially in the rear. What about the front? We could run a 335 up front, run it 315. It's just a good balance. It's what I ran on my C2 Corvette, my Grand Sport, and it's just a great balance. How, how much do you think this weighs? Because uh, I weighed my Z with the SR20. It's 2150. With Corvette components like the transmission, you know, you're talking a Tremec or a TR6060 or whatever, the torque tube and everything, it's really hard to get sub 2,500 pounds. This car has three gallon dry sump. It has a massive oil cooler in the front, very large radiator. It's not very lightweight stuff. And without the body panels on it, we were at 2250, so. What? Yeah. Only 100 more pounds yeah. and it's versus mine? And then you also have a cage? Yes, that's, full, that's full cage. That is amazing, so, very cool. I tried to keep everything I could as light as possible, so. Yeah, you really did a good job. Thank you. Very cool car. Let's hear this bad boy. Stock Z06 power, how much is that putting out then? Well, it's not stock Z06 power. Oh, okay. So we should be, we should be in the 550 to 570 wheel horsepower range. It's, uh, it should move. We'll find out on the drag strip. So I haven't been to the dyno yet, but this cam that was spec'd out has made X number of power before. So we'll see. It's got to be such a handful to drive this thing. It was really amazing on the autocross. It's got so much grip turn radius and how it turned in it was just it was amazing so I, I was having to wrap my head around this you know and what suspension changes i needed to make but man it is a handful it is a blast thank so. you so much for showing us this yeah. car cool